Praise the Lord. It's good to be back with you this morning. Appreciate everyone listening in. If you can, stay with us. We've got 45 minutes to praise the Lord. And we've got some good singers here today. If you need a song sung, well, they'll probably know it. Well, call it in. We've got Brother Daniel Carter here to sing. Just Teresa staying over and saying, and going to help us sing, whatever she wants to do. And we've got Brother Earl Smith to sing. We've got my wife here ready to sing. So if you've got a song request, call it in. If you've got a prayer request, Sister B will be leading prayer here after a while. Feel free to call in and just get right in here with us and, and let's start praising the Lord. Brother Daniel, if you would, brother, come and minister however the Lord's got for you to go. I ask you, Lord. I praise the Lord for being back today. I've had a little back trouble, but yeah, praise good to the have Lord, you, I'm a lot better now. And Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is the, he's the healer. Amen. Sometimes he may use a doctor or something, but he is the, the ultimate healer. He's the one that does it. It's all through him. Amen, Praise Mike. God. I'm going to sing a song, Laid Up My Treasures in That Home Above. I just love the Lord and just want to, like I say, if you, all this earthly stuff is going to be gone. Amen. The only thing yeah. that lasts is what we do for the Lord. <laughs> right. And putting other people's hearts and telling everybody about him. And, and the Lord is so good and I just love the Lord so much and just thankful to, thankful to be here. Jesus. Praise God. Bless him, Lord. Laid up my treasures in that home above. I might leave today. 
day. I'm so proud. Jesus Christ has saved me. I'm so glad. I deserved it. He saved me. He took a sinner and made me a winner. I'm so glad. I know this. Getting on my cloud. I'm going to glory. Getting on my cloud. I'm going to glory. Getting on my cloud. I'm going to glory. God gave me this cloud. I might leave today. He wrote my name in the blood that He gave me. He gave His death. Thank you, Lord. When He died, it would save me. He hung on a cross between two thieves. Only one said, remember me. Getting on my cloud, I'm going to glory. Getting on my cloud, I'm going to glory. Getting on my cloud, I'm going to glory. God gave me this cloud, I might leave today. Getting on my cloud, and going to glory. Getting on his cloud, made the trip up to glory. Got on his cloud, made it special for him. I believe yeah. he's going down King's Highway. Getting on my cloud, I'm going to glory. Getting on my cloud, I'm going to glory. Getting on my cloud. Today, I want to dedicate right, that song to my sister. Go listen in this morning. Amen, brother. She asked me to sing her a song. Yes. So I send that out to her. Amen. Amen. You know, Amen. you know, old, old, the old prophet Elijah. He went in a fiery chariot up in. Amen, brother. Glory. Jesus ascended up into the clouds, and the Lord's coming one day at well, for us, and He's going to change us. And give us a new body. Yes, amen. Right. Isn't that going to be wonderful? Yeah. These old bodies, uh, they wear out on us, but the glorified body that He's going to give us will right. never wear out. Be amen. like His glory. Glorious right. body. Yeah. Lord, yes. Right. Just preach a common saying, testify whatever the Lord's got for you to do. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. You know, there's uh, so many times I just feel like I want to go on and be with Jesus yeah. and leave this old world, but I know that the Lord's got a purpose for me to be here. Right, yeah. And uh, whatever that purpose is, I want to be. I want to obey the Lord. I want to obey Amen. His voice yeah. whatever Amen. He has right. me to do. Lord, I'm going to yeah. try to sing. Uh, I feel like traveling on. Um, let's try it and see. Bless your Lord.
scientist and he thought he was so smart and he was saying, well, we, oh, we came oh, from this and that so many million years ago and we came up out of the sea and I don't know exactly what, what happened. I said, well, I do. <laughs> I, I just talked to him there on the, on the TV. I said, I do. But I was crazy. Water is a little, a little amoeba or something. I didn't swing down out of a tree. The Lord created me. Made me. We know what he uh, it said. If you come to the Lord, you gotta believe. Got to come to God. You gotta believe that He is. Amen. And that He is a reward of those that diligently seek. I don't have to have some of these big uh, scientists tell me where I come from. I already know. The Lord already told me. You know what it says in the in the Word of God in the Book of Proverbs, I believe, it is Praise a fool Lord. has said in his heart there is no God. So I know He is the one. That yes, he is. Amen. 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 Amen.
Yeah. All right, he wants us all to join in on this. So everybody yeah. come around. Just preach. I probably know it. Get there where you can see. Yeah, get around here where you can see the words. I already know it. So I'm, my oh, brother Earl, he probably God. already knows it. Praise you, God. You leave start down. Say what the soul never dies. Praise God. That's where I want to be. We make it to heaven. That's where we'll never have to worry about being sick or anything. Amen, brother. Thank you, Jesus. We don't worry about nothing. No bills or anything. Amen. We'll take care of everything. All we got to do is live for Him, witness for Him. Tell others about him. Yeah. The Lord is wonderful. I mean, I just feel so good right now. The Lord is
most of all live it for the Lord and Amen, right. make care of your home one day after a while. Bless him, Lord. Oh, my friend, you'll never run out of the blood is the name of it. Bless him, Lord. You may run out of money. You may run short of faith. You may feel so unworthy to ever stop and pray. You may feel your life destroyed and you run in and out of love. Oh, be strong, for you'll never run out of the blood. Oh, it covers forever for the rest of our days. And it faces protection. In the past that we take and forever until these bones return <coughs> to the dust. Oh, my friend, you never run out yeah. of the blood. Well, I know that you're struggling in your life every day, and it seems all Amazing grace and see. Okay. All right. Praise, Praise the Lord. The Lord. Uh, you know, the Jesus' grace is so sufficient yes, for all amen. of us. And, and I just love this song, and I, I pray that it's a blessing to you. And it's uh, Amazing Grace is what I'm going to sing. Amen. Praise the Lord.
Yeah. All right, we're going to get my wife to sing one more song, and then we're going to get into the scripture. <coughs> and I want to I want to send this out to Brother J.C. Paris and uh, Sister Yvonne Paris, uh, my wife's uh, sister, Sister Paige's sister, and I want to get dedicate this to them. If you wish, yes, praise the Lord. <coughs> <coughs> Snare of the fowler. Yes. 
Yes, so many. And from the northern pestilence. Yes. There's a lot of pestilence starting to take hold in, in these last days. Yeah. You say, what are you talking about, preacher? A, a lot of sicknesses that they used not have, a lot of diseases coming up on man that they don't have no cure for, and they don't know what's going on, that pestilence. And it's increasing in these last yeah. days. Yeah. But he said here he would protect us from that. He deliver us from that. Yes, amen. Hallelujah. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. Amen, brother. Amen. His truth shall be thy shield yes. and buckler. Amen. amen. I, I want to just dwell on that a little while about trusting. We need to trust the Lord. Right, yes. and, we, and, and do away with a lot of worry, a lot of fear, a lot of doubt, and do away with all of it amen. if you trust Him completely and say, amen. Lord, I've read Your Word and You said if I stay with You, You're going to protect me. You can be free from what man's going to do to you. Right, amen. amen. He'll protect you. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night. A lot of people afraid to lay down at night. Yeah, uh -huh, true. Afraid to lay down to sleep. Got locks all over their doors and, and got the alarm systems. They got all this and they still can't hardly sleep because of the terror that the devil's putting on them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and nor for the arrow that flieth by day. Nor for the pestilence that walk in darkness. Nor for the destruction that wastes at noon, noonday. Listen to this. A thousand shall yes. fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand. Amen. 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 But it shall not come nigh thee. Yeah, Amen. There's a lot of people that are going to die in these last days of all kinds of different things. But you know what? The Lord just promised me right there if I'd stay with Him in that secret place, in that refuge that He's got for me, that it will not happen to me. Amen. 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 All we'll do is we'll look and we'll see it, but we'll say the Lord has protected me from that. Amen. Praise God. You say, well, I'll just go get shot and I'm not against that because I do it sometimes. But you know what? The, in the final end, we need to trust Jesus. Yes, right, because it don't matter what man uh, comes upon mankind or what comes from the beast of the field or what comes from whatever. Jesus is our protector. Amen, he is our, our refuge. He's our shelter in time of trouble. You know, a few years ago I had a vision one night uh, and I was in a place that, where the sea was raging and around and he took me into a little, I call it a cove, a little protected area. Praise God there and the sun was shining and the plants was growing, sister, and, and he put me in a protected place. Oh, yeah. I believe I was in his pavilion that David yes. talked about. He had put me in that, in that secret place yes. that he had for him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. I'm glad that I know how to get into that secret place and when I get there, I stay there. Amen. Don't run in now. You'll get in trouble. Amen. Right. People trying to live for, for the world and live for Jesus on the weekend. It won't work. You need to stay with Him all the time. Amen. Amen. As a sister preached this morning, the old flesh is enmity. It's the enemy of the Spirit and they're always at warfare. You can't let the flesh win. you got to, by the Word of God and by prayer and fasting and by whatever you need to do, you got to put the flesh in its place. Amen. Amen. Jesus said He was tempted every way that we are. Yes. But Amen. He didn't see. That's all right. right. Amen. Sometimes he'd spend all night praying to the Father, yes. which was him in the spirit form. Yes. But he would get in prayer because the old flesh is weak. Jesus said the, the spirit's willing, but the flesh is weak. Yes, amen. You say, well, I, I got strong flesh. Well, you may be able to lift 500 pounds, but I'm not talking about that kind of strength. The old flesh is weak and then he'll give in to temptation. Yeah, right, yeah. Even though King David... Uh, the mighty man of God that he was and God said himself that he was a man after his own heart. Uh -huh. Sisters, uh, even King David uh, became weak in the flesh and gave in to temptation. Right, he yeah. got himself in trouble. We don't need to do that. Let our, no. let our wives look at something and lust after it then go after it and give in to sin and when sin's finished it brings death. That's right. That's right. The wages of sin is death. But I'm That's glad right. that the gift of God is eternal life. Yes. Yes. Christ yes. Jesus. Seem like people, some of them uh, rather have death the way they're living. That's true. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Yes. Amen. You say, what reward of the wicked? It's going to be judgment for them. Mm -hmm. You know, over in the book of Malachi, the first chapter, it said the Lord is going to come and who's going to abide 
is coming. He's coming like a refiner's fire yeah. and a fuller's soul. And who's going to be able to stand when he comes? That's right. And he said he's going to come and he's going to be a swift witnesses against the sorcerers and the adulterers and those that are doing the things that's wrong. He's going to be a swift witness against that's them. Right. And they're going to be uh, put into uh, uh, hell and then into the lake of fire. He's going to be that witness against them. Preach it, brother. He might. He's coming as a refiner. He's yes, going to refine yes. you. He, he, he'll put you through some trials and some tests. And if you come through them, you'll just be that much stronger in yes, the Lord. Amen. Amen. You'll be that much purer. Yes. Amen. But don't think just because you've been tested a little that you've done something wrong, no. the Lord's going to make you stronger. He's refining you. Yes. Because why? Listen then. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, yes. even the Most High, yes. thy habitation. Yes, what does that mean, preacher? Thy habitation. It means that's where you live all the time. Uh -huh. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Praise God. I, I, he is my refuge, but you know what? I'm staying with Him all the time. Yes. I, I just moved in with Him, and He's moved in with me. Amen. He said, I stand at the door and knock. Mm -hmm. If you'll open up, I'll come in and I'll sup with you. Amen. And you with me. Senator Fred, if you're listening out there, you say, well, I've, just, I've got a lot of things in this world, but they're just not satisfying me. I'm going to try to find me something else. You need to come to Jesus. Yes. Right. He's the only one that can give you that peace. That's right, brother. He's the only one that can give you that joy. Amen. He's the only one that can take and, and give you peace when you lay down mm -hmm. and not have terror. Amen. Amen. There shall, listen, it's a promise. There shall no evil Befall me. Now that's a promise. If you stay with him, in, in habitation with him, in refuge with him, in his secret place, he said, No evil shall befall thee. Neither shall any plague. He may come nigh thy dwelling. <laughs> oh, the little plagues are raging around now. They got what they call the, the they looking for the bird, bird flu, the swine flu. They looking for this and that, that, that other. But here it said they wouldn't even do it. None of those plagues, he said, I even come near. And now it says, I mean, near your right. well. Yeah. Yeah, man, I'll just keep them away from you. Yeah. Praise yeah. God. When yeah. the children of Israel was over there in captivity in Egypt, and the plagues was coming, God was sending plagues on them to try to get them to let the uh, children go. They was plagued everywhere, but it goes you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There was a darkness come over the whole land. They couldn't see anything. Their hand right in front of the face for days, but there was light over Goshen. Yeah. Yeah. Over there, I thought about where his people was. They would always lie. Yeah. And the yeah. plagues couldn't touch them because they couldn't come near them because God had them in his habitation. Amen. Yeah. And he promised in the Word, if we live for him and keep his covenant, that he wouldn't let any of those diseases that came up on the Egyptians come upon us. Uh -huh. That's a promise in God's Word. Right. Right. I can find it for you and read it if you need me to. But He promised if you keep His commandment and His covenant that He wouldn't let any of those diseases that He put upon them over there come uh -huh. on you. That's right. Isn't that a good promise? Amen. Praise Amen. God. Amen. It's worth living for the Lord, y'all. It's worth living right. for Jesus Amen. in His life. Yes. But in afterwards, we'll live forever because we're living oh, now Jesus. in His place. For he shall give his angels charge over thee yes. to keep thee in all thy way. Amen. How about angels keeping you? That sounds yes. good. Yes. It says in the Hebrews, the first chapter, the 14th verse, that, that the angels are ministering spirits yes. sent to minister to those that would be heirs of salvation. That's yeah. the saints. That's uh, us. Amen. He sends his angels, Sister Teresa, he sends his angels and says, you go and minister to them, you protect them, yes. and you minister to them, you encourage them, oh, and you keep them yes. from me. Yes. Praise yes. God. God is doing that yes. for us. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise God. And we're on the winning side. Yes, we are. Even though we're in the in a minority. Amen. Yes. You no, know, there uh, we said no evil will come near you, no plague come near you in the tenth verse. Over in Second Peter, second chapter, in the ninth verse, he said, God knows how to deliver the godly out of temptation. Yes. You say this is an old testament. What about the New Testament? Second Peter. 
2 chapter 9 verse. Mm -hmm. God knows how to deliver the godly. You say, who is the godly? Those that's living right according to the word yes, of God. Amen. That's the one that's godly. Amen. Amen. Praise God. He said he knows how to deliver you. Not through them. Out of them. Praise, Praise God. Praise God. Thank you. I'm Lord. counting on that. Are you? Amen. Yes. Amen. They shall bear thee up in thy hand, their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. I'm going to read one more verse and then get Brother Earl to bring the song up. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and have it. The young lion and the dragon shall thou trample on their feet. Amen. Maybe the devil's not bothering you, but you know what? The Lord give me power over him. That dragon always, if you look it up, that dragon always represents Satan. It said, you know, he told me right there in that verse that we could trample upon him. Amen. Amen. We can stump the head of the devil. We can get his great Sunday, may the Lord bless you. It's our prayer.